Realtree Outdoors is powered by the Reveal app. Download the app now so you can see, scan, and buy during the program. He came out right there. Golly, <coughs> man, I'm so proud of you. That was awesome. Well, this story began five years ago when I got a call from Jay Watson, a reporter for the NBC affiliate in Atlanta, to come and meet a young man who was battling brain cancer. Little did I know how Chip Madrin was going to change my life and the life of so many others in such a drastic way. Chip loves hunting. It's his favorite thing in the world. I prayed and prayed that if he does survive, let's make sure he gets to enjoy the outdoors. Chip was a typical teenage boy. He loved everything about the outdoors, hunting, fishing. Then one day, his parents started noticing subtle changes. Something is going wrong. He'd asked to go to the eye doctor. His vision was a little off, very lethargic, tired, was putting himself to bed at 8.30 or 9 o'clock at night. And he had always been a really good athlete, a baseball player particularly, and just wasn't doing so well that year. And we thought it was weird. After several trips to different doctors, they finally found themselves at Children's Hospital of Atlanta, about to receive news that no parent ever wants to hear. No parent would ever expect that, that a child would, would have cancer, what? That it just, it was the farthest thing from our mind. We actually thought that maybe he had Lyme disease. He does spend a lot of time in the woods. He spends a lot of time outside. Lyme disease and cancer have a lot of the same symptoms. And we were hoping it was Lyme disease. A tumor was discovered in Chip's brain that had spread down his brain stem into his spine. What's abnormal is this stuff right here. That's not supposed to be there, and that's his tumor. And then when he turned to look at us, we knew we were at the right place. Because he was doing what, I, what I'm doing when he told us. A 10-hour surgery removed most, but not all of the tumor. Rounds and rounds of chemo, radiation, and a lengthy recovery awaited Chip and his family. We've just learned how to nod this week. Chip, can you nod? Show us how you nod yes and no, yes. That that is so huge. And a big deep breath in your nose and push. He is an extremely hard worker, yes. This is the point where I get to meet Chip. Anything I or Realtree could do, we were going to do it. We were all in. This will be exciting. Chip and his dad had no idea I was coming. What in the world? David Blanton. I know who you are. <laughs> or the promise I was about to make. Before long, when you get over this, we're going to Montana to hunt deer together. Chip, you want to go? <laughs> Outstanding. Awesome. Outstanding. I presented Chip with a skull mount from a deer I'd recently taken in Texas. I didn't know it at the time, but this was the first moment he had reached for something since the surgery took my breath away. We all were like, oh my gosh, he, he moved his arm and he reached and he grabbed that antler and he, and he held onto it for dear life. It, it changed Chip from that day on. I think it did. It I, did. It was a real, he fought harder. It was a real show of, uh, I think, to everybody in the room, hope. I'm gonna bring it back here and I'm gonna let go. One thing about Chip, this kid is a fighter, unlike anyone I had ever met. He worked and fought and slowly but surely got better. You look on the scans now, and the tumor that used to be there uh, around the brain stem and also the tumor around the spine is literally it's melted away. And this particular family is just taking it to another another universe. How you describe it? It's a, uh, I guess, a story of strength and grace. You know, he's just, a, he's impacted a lot of people. This would be the birth of Chips Nation. People from all over the country pitched in to donate, cook meals, do whatever needed to be done and Chips Nation grew. Honey and fishing got me pretty much through everything. When I just got to move, I would be thinking about hunting. Stand up, come on. I kept looking forward to that trip for a long time. Keep it out there. Kick, kick, kick. One, two, three. It was a wonderful thing to hold on to. And we had no doubt, if Chip made it, that David would make good. But we had 
some ground to cover before we could get to Montana. Real Tree Outdoors is brought to you by Nikon, Trust Earned, Nikon, Summit, Hunting Elevated, Chevrolet, the most awarded car company two years in a row, New Archery Products, Hunt with Confidence, Tinks, America's number one buck lure, Bad Boy Off-Road, and the Stampede 900. Chip Madron is in the fight of his young life. Having survived brain cancer, he works hard every day just to try to get back some of what he lost. And believe me, Chip is going to fight because we have some hunting to do. I had to do work. It's called working out my trigger finger. I'm bring it back here and I'm going to let go. Get your bearings. Control those legs. I call him the beast. Push up. He has a heart of a lion. Squeeze. I'll try to hold that right there, okay? Awesome! Five years ago, I had made a promise to Chip. When you get over this, we're going to Montana to hunt deer together. Unfortunately, the following year, a combination of EHD and winter kill wiped out most of the deer herd. There's a nice poping young buck. Looks to me a 135, 140 class buck laying dead up on the bank. Well, as the deer started to make a comeback, so did Chip. Uh -oh. And five years later, here we are. Awesome. Well, I'm here at Children's Health Care of Atlanta with a really special visit. I'm going to surprise Chip with this trip to the Milk River that I promised him five years ago. He has no idea, but he is going to be so excited. You slip this to whoever can do it. Yep, and we've made arrangements okay. with her and they can just give them that whole packet. Right. Hey, man! <laughs> Golly, that's awesome. So he's doing most of this. Yep, he's doing all of this right now. Chip, someone dropped something off in the mail for you earlier. It was on my desk. <laughs> oh. Montana. Montana. That's all working room. Combination hunting license for Chip Madron. What? <laughs> We're going to the Milk River, dude. Oh. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> In our, next month. Awesome. Did you know that? No. Are you in or you want to take I, a rain check? Oh, no, I've been, I've been thinking about that ever since. I've been watching the TV shows. Well, you're going. The Monster Buck TV shows. And you've seen enough of the Milk River. This time, we're going to be watching Chip Madgen at the Milk River. This has been so held on to, hopes of doing things like this. Yeah. Um, it's just such a powerful motivator, and I'm excited for you. How can we not take him when he wears the Realtree logo? Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, he's representing all the time. Oh, he's a company man. He is a company man. Chip, I want to tell you that the deer herd is finally back in incredible shape at the Milk River. You know, a lot of them died off yeah. from overpopulation, but they're all back. I tell me that. They're back now. Good. And there's big bucks out there. Awesome. And they're waiting for you. Uh, okay. <laughs> and you have a ticket, You have sir. a ticket. Let's just try to get along, you know. <laughs> and, uh, we'll kick your dad out. Oh, that's fine with me. <laughs> <laughs> what really put this into perspective for me was when I went to his house and Leah showed me all of his beads of courage. Every bead stands for something while Chip was sick. So every black bead, wow. you can see them all, that's every time he was poked. Every white bead was a chemo treatment. Oh, every yellow bead is a night spent in the hospital. There's 180 of those. These are beads of courage, these home handmade beads. And those are given out when he does something particularly courageous to get through, which mm -hmm. obviously he has a ton. Have a contest at the hospital. Who has the heaviest set of beads? <laughs> they weigh them. Really? Um, yeah. And yeah, we, we may have won that one say, year. I was going to say, we may have won that we one. We may have won that one year, so. For five years, I have watched Chip battle, suffer. I've experienced his highs and his lows. And to see him continue to fight and overcome so many obstacles, hurdles that people said he would never get over, 
inspired not only me, but really the entire country. I can't wait to take Chip to Montana. Realtree Outdoors is brought to you by Chevrolet, the roll-formed high-strength steel bed of the Chevy Silverado outperforms the aluminum bed of the Ford F-150. Chevrolet, find new roads. The time has finally arrived. Coming straight off of Canada. We ain't in Georgia no more. A trip five years in the making. After beating brain cancer, Chip Madrin is at the Milk River. Can imagine. You can imagine, it's been five years. Tremendous anticipation. We've talked about this at, you know, the dinner table once a week. Probably some of the best whitetail hunting on the Milk River because of this brush here. Dave, uh, David knows about that brush. Oh yeah. Now this story about Chip would not be complete if I didn't tell you about Sterling Carroll, the landowner from Montana. Sterling is one of the godliest men I've ever met. His only mission this entire deer season was to accommodate Chip. <laughs> it's a dream come true. It really, it really is. <laughs> Golly. That'll get you through this morning. Hey, that might, yeah. We might need every one of those. Uh-huh. <laughs> That first morning was unseasonably cold, 14 degrees, and the deer simply weren't moving. But I had a feeling the afternoon was going to be dynamite. Sterling had to leave to go back home to North Carolina. So now I am, I've been promoted to head guide, Chip. Okay. <laughs> so now that I have the confidence of my clientele. About... Mm -hmm. 60% of the time, he's just trying to get me to get mad or something. I wouldn't want you to get mad. Yeah, you do. That afternoon, we got Chip in a blind, and the excitement is at an all-time high. Sure. Cold. Gun. Yeah, you ready, bud? Yeah. David props me that trip five years ago. Oh, we're in Montana today. But I'm pretty sure she's a doe. Yeah. It didn't take long and Chip had a shooter in the field. That's a good buck, Chip. That's a, that's a pretty good buck. You see? Unfortunately, that first deer was a oh, miss. Good. Oh, good. But next thing you know, oh, here, here comes another one. Now, irrigated alfalfa is such a highly preferred food source, and when you put that in combination with the fact that these deer at the Milk River simply don't get hunted much, it's no surprise when they drift back out in the field. This buck never would stop in the alfalfa, and Chip has some limited mobility. And so he had a hard time getting on this buck. You see him, Chip? It's all right, buddy. It's tough, it's tough, I know. Hey, before you start worrying about Chip, after a couple of misses, you better think again, because this guy has battled the odds for the last five years. He never gave up. A couple of misses is nothing for Chip. It's called buck fever. That's how you go on. Boy, all the air went out of the tires for a minute. But we'd been there before. We'd, uh, we'd had the air out of our tires before. Ken shot the gun to make sure it was still on, but that afternoon we were back at it. 
Closed captioning for Realtree Outdoors is provided by Grime Boss, the essential cleaning tool, unscented hand wipes. Realtree Outdoors is brought to you by Grime Boss, the essential cleaning tool, unscented hand wipes. Wild game persimmon crush, pick a proven winner. New Holland, equipped for a new world. Grizzly Coolers, for a lifetime. And Realtree, family, friends, and the outdoors. This portion of Realtree Outdoors is brought to you by Realtree Extra. The best just got better. It is extremely important to understand that early on in his battle, Chip and his family decided that Chip's nation was going to be there to help other children. To learn more about Chip's Nation Pediatric Foundation, go to www.chipsnation.org. Well, it's coming down to the wire from my little buddy Chip Madrin at the Milk River in Montana. Did you say bottom of the night? I can't begin yeah. to tell you how badly I want this for Chip. Having survived brain cancer and fighting for the past five years to get to this point, it just had to happen today. I just got to win right. Everything's right. The deer could have been for a close up one thing. Coming out the corner over here. So I think that's going to be a challenge. But if we can't buy that, it should be done. Hey, Chip, here comes a buck. Typical Milk River fashion, it didn't take long and a shooter shows up. This buck comes out and runs does a little bit just out of Chip's range. Then he turns and heads back into the brush. I can't believe this is happening. months in the hospital. Countless hours of chemo and radiation. He's tired after three, but he does 11. Years of therapy. All right, very good. Hold. Hard times and laughter. A nation that came together. A hunt five years in the making. We're going to Montana to hunt deer together. Comes down to this moment. Don't, don't take the outdoors away from me. 
but I was overcome with the commitment that had been made, the friendships that had been formed, and the quality of life that my son has been able to enjoy after such a devastating battle. That is awesome. I can't wait to go see him. Oh, that is awesome. He did right what he was supposed to do. He came out right there. I'm so proud of you. That was awesome. That is so awesome, man. I cannot believe cannot what believe. an afternoon we have had. Look at the size of that beer. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Look at the size of that beer. That is one. That is a 10 point. That is a beautiful, beautiful beer. <laughs> I mean, beautiful. 10 what point. Look at that. Shot. What a shot. It was an awesome celebration. We felt like the hunt was gonna take place. There were times when we weren't sure. Yeah. That we were gonna be able to hunt. Right. I can tell you that I have never been impacted by a young man like Chip Madrid. Not only Chip, but his family. How many people, much less kids, would give up? I would say a lot, but not Chip Madrid. Chip has kicked cancer's tail. Yeah. And here we are. That was so fun. Best time of my life. Icing on the cake. But I like icing now. <laughs> 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 <laughs>